Wonder Woman 1984 is delayed, Kim Kardashian reignites drama with Taylor Swift on Twitter, and more Love is Blind in the Circle are headed to Netflix. Here are today's top stories. First, the release of Wonder Woman 1984 has officially been pushed back due to the ongoing coronavirus pandemic and the resulting movie theater closures. The Warner Brothers sequel, which was set to hit theaters in North America on June 5th, will now fly into the big screen on August 14th. The world needs you. Warner Brothers also announced on Tuesday that the studio is delaying the June musical movie In the Heights, the May animated film Scoob, and the James Wan-directed August horror movie Malignant. No new release dates have been announced yet. Next, the feud between Taylor Swift and Kim Kardashian and Kanye West has apparently been reignited, with Kim taking to Twitter to post a rant against Taylor. Here's what went down. Over the weekend, the full 2016 phone call between T-Swift and Kanye, where they spoke about his controversial track Famous leaked. You remember the one that Kim posted snippets of on Snapchat that same year? The full leaked call showed that Kanye never ran the lyric, I made that bitch famous by Taylor, he did ask her to promote the song on social media, and she seemed apprehensive about the whole thing. On Monday, Taylor posted on her Instagram story, Instead of answering those who were asking how I feel about the video footage that leaked, proving that I was telling the truth the whole time about that call, you know, the one that was illegally recorded, that somebody edited and manipulated in order to frame me and put me, my family, and fans through hell for four years? Swipe to see what really matters. She then directed fans to the Feeding America and World Health Organization websites to send donations amid the coronavirus pandemic. Fast forward to Monday night, Kim then took to Twitter to post a series of nine tweets about Taylor, which read in part, I didn't feel the need to comment a few days ago, and I'm actually really embarrassed and mortified to be doing it right now. But because she continues to speak on it, I feel I'm left without a choice but to respond because she is actually lying. To be clear, the only issue I ever had around the situation was that Taylor lied through her publicist who stated that Kanye never called to ask for permission. They clearly spoke, so I let you all see that. Nobody ever denied the word bitch was used without her permission. Kim went on to claim that she never edited the footage and that she felt forced to defend Kanye. Taylor's publicist Tree Payne then responded, saying, I'm Taylor's publicist, and this is my unedited original statement. By the way, when you take parts out, that's editing. P.S. Who did you guys piss off to leak that video? The attached statement showed that Taylor's publicist never denied the call happened. And that's all there is on that, at least for now. Finally, More Love is Blind and The Circle are headed to Netflix. On social media, you can be anyone. Let the games begin. And say anything. The streaming giant has handed out multi-season renewals for both the social experiment competition The Circle and the dating experiment series Love is Blind, with seasons two and three on the way. Here, you will choose someone to marry. Hello. Nice to hear from you. Can't say see ya without ever seeing them. For more on all these stories, head to THR.com. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.